In this video, we would see what is a swap space and how to add or extend the swap space in Linux. When the CPU executes programs or applications in a computer, it will first load corresponding application or program from the hard disk to the RAM. Then it will execute corresponding instructions from the RAM. So if it executes multiple applications at a time, then the memory or the RAM may not be sufficient to execute all the programs at a time. So in that case, the RAM will be full and it will not able to load new programs or applications. So in that case, it will remove some of the inactive pages of the applications and it will load corresponding pages from the RAM to a particular place in the disk which is called swap space. And this process of loading some of the inactive pages from the RAM into the swap is called swap out. And after some time, if other processes completed and if it has enough memory in the RAM, it will reload the pages from the swap space to RAM. So this is called swap-in. So this swapping involves both swap-out as well as swap-in. So swap is a part of the disk which will be used when the amount of physical memory or the RAM is full. So generally we can add or extend the swap in two ways using a swap file or a swap partition. So in this video, we will see both the ways how to add or extend swap in Linux using a swap file and a swap partition. Let us start. This is a Linux terminal. Before increasing the swap space, let us try to identify the free swap available in this machine. So for that we need to use free command. So here we can see that 6 GB is allocated for the swap and out of that we have 5.7 GB free. So now let us try to increase this swap by using two methods. So in the first method, we will create a swap file and we will add that swap to the available swap in the machine. So let us create a swap file now. So for that we will use dd command. So for the dd command, we have to mention the input file. Here I will mention dev0. Then we need to mention the output file. So this is the path of this swap file. So for that I am giving swap file. So the size will be mentioned in terms of blocks. So each block size we can mention in a different ways. So here I want to increase this swap by 500 MB. So I will mention the block size as 1 MB. Since the block size is 1 MB, the count should be 500. So now we can see that a swap file is created. Let us verify that. So now we can see that the size is almost 500 MB. So let us format this file to swap. So first that we need to use make swap command. So we need to specify the file here. So now it is formatted with swap. So we have to enable the swap. So for that we need to use swap on command. So now it is enabled. So now let us verify the available swap in the machine using free command. Now we can see that it is increased by 500 MB. So here we have enabled the swap file using swap on command. But if you want to enable the swap, while rebooting the machine, then we have to add corresponding entry in the etc fs tab file. So for that, let us open the etc fs tab. So here we need to mention the entry for swap. So now when we execute mount a, we should not get any error. The mount command works without any errors. This means whenever the machine is rebooted, this swap will be available automatically. So this is the first method how we can add swap using a swap file. In the second method, we will create swap by using a Linux partition. So this Linux partition can be a generic Linux partition or a Linux LVM partition. So in this video, I will use a Linux LVM partition for this. If you want to know how this LVM partition is created, please check the link in the below description. So now I assume that we already have a volume group out of which we will create a logical volume and we will use that logical volume as swap in the machine. So for creating a logical volume, we need to have a volume group. So for that, let us check the volume groups in this machine. So here we have two volume groups, my VZ2 and my VZ group. Here I will use my VZ group for creating the swap. So before that, we need to create a logical volume. So for creating a logical volume, I will use LV create command. So for this command, we have to provide some options. So now we need to specify the volume group name. So now we need to specify the name of the volume. So we have to enter the size as well. So for that we have to give, I will give 500 MB here. 
So this logical volume is created now. So now we have to format this logical volume using swap. Before that, let us get the location of this volume. So for that, let us use LV display command. So here we need to specify the name of the volume group. So this is the logical volume name and this is the logical volume path. So now let us use this logical volume path while formatting this as a swap area. So for that we will use mkswap command and we need to mention the path of this logical volume. So now it is formatted as swap area. So let us enable the swap. So this is enabled. So now let us verify the swap available in this machine. So now we can see that the swap area is increased from 6.5 to 7 GB. So that means this is increased by 500 MB. So this is the second way how we can create swap using a Linux LVM partition. So now we have seen how to add swap using swap file as well as using a Linux partition. So now if you want to extend the swap, again we can create a new swap file and we can enable that swap or we can extend the existing LVM partition. Now let us try to extend the available swap from 7 GB to 7.5 GB by extending the LVM partition. So before extending the LVM partition, we have to make the swap off for that partition. So let us do that. So now let us extend this LVM. So for that we can use LV resize command. We need to specify the path of the LVM. So now we have to specify the size. So I am extending the size by 500 MB. So now we can see the logical volume is successfully resized. So now we have to format this again with swap. So for that we can use mkswap command. So now it is formatted with swap. So let us enable this swap again. So it is enabled now. So let us verify the swap again. So now we can see that the swap is increased by 500 MB. This way we can extend an existing swap by extending corresponding logical volume size. So in this video we have seen what is the swap area and how to create or extend the swap area in Linux. I hope this video is helpful. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.